Welcome to Computer Keys Tutorials. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use APIs in Keysmail to create emails and add attachments to them. In version 9 of Keysmail, we have provided an example API program under the QCL source program list called API Example. It contains CL coding examples that you can copy into your own programs with only slight alterations to automate your mail creation. In most cases, creating an email is a two-step process. First, you must create the message portion of the email. Then you can add attachments to it. There are three ways to create the message portion of the email. The first way is to copy a template. This API takes an existing mail message that we will call a template and creates a copy of it in your mailbox under the category template message. It monitors for any errors that might occur with CPF 9898 and saves the new mail member name in the local data area. We will retrieve the mail member name from the LDA so that we can add attachments to that message. I'll go into the mailbox now and show you how to work with templates. From your mailbox, hit F6 to create a new piece of mail. Press Enter to close the recipient address window, as we typically would not put any addresses in the template. Enter whatever information you want to be in the template, the subject, the message. Press F3 when you are finished. Use option 2 to change the status to say template. This will prevent it from being purged. Now use option 7 to rename the mail member to a name for our template. We will call it test temp. If you later decide you don't want this template, you must rename it to anything else before deleting it. If you don't do this, you will not be able to reuse that name. Deleted mail is not purged for 7 days. Back in the API example program, the second API for creating an email message creates either a text or an HTML message from a spooled file. It's currently sending it to your own mailbox with this subject. It doesn't delete the spooled file after creating the message. In our example, we are not sending the mail out yet. We have not put any attachments on it yet. If it sends it out now, the recipient will get two copies in their inbox, one with an attachment and one without. Again, it monitors for errors and saves the new mail member to the LDA, which we can retrieve. The third API uses the KML text message command to create an email message from the data in the command itself. You can enter the text of the message right here, but again, we have the send member option marked no so that we can add attachments. It monitors for errors and saves the mail member name to the LDA as before. The second step is to add any optional attachments. This next API will add a spooled file as an attachment. In our example, we print a sample spooled file in voice T with a front side overlay. We leave it in the output queue on hold so that it will not accidentally print. We then call the KML spooled file command, which will convert the spooled file to a PDF with a full color overlay and attach it to the mail member that we retrieved from the LDA. At this point, the original mail message can be amended to have a new subject and new recipients. But we have already set those how we want them in the original API, so I'll leave those options marked same. We set the send member option to no because we are going to add some more attachments. The next API adds a file from your PC as an attachment. Using the KML PC file command, you tell it the file name and the IFS path that it is located in, and it attaches it to the mail member. This API adds a physical file member as an attachment. It uses the KML physical file member command. In this example, I've attached the API example source file that we are working with right now as a text document. This is the final attachment, so we are now selecting yes in the send member to outbox area. There's one more way to create an email message and add an attachment, and that is to do both of these steps at the same time. This final API does a combination of what the others I've shown you have already done. It prepares a text message and adds a spooled file as a PDF attachment, after which it sends the mail member to the outbox for mailing. This example program creates a completion message and processes any errors before exiting. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos on our channel, and you can visit us at computerkeys.com.